Hi, this is David Healy at LibraWave, and this is Rhapsody. Rhapsody is a free player and instrument manager. It works as a VST or AU plugin, and also as a standalone application. When you first open it, you'll see the login screen. That's what we can see here. If you don't already have a LibraWave account, you can click this button to visit the website and sign up. However, if you prefer to work completely offline, you can skip the login altogether by clicking this button up here, work offline, and that will take us to the main screen. I'm going to sign in though. So I'll just put my username and password here. Click login. And after we log in, Rhapsody will connect to the LibraWave server to get a list of all the instruments we've bought. The two instruments that are greyed out, Bell and Bone and Emerald Flute, are instruments that I haven't installed yet. Dulcius isn't greyed out, but it does have a green download and install button. So the fact that it's not greyed out, that means I've already installed this library, but the presence of the download button means there's an update available. The rest of the instruments are installed and I can just click on them to launch them. So I could click on Lyrical Bansuri, for example, and now it launches. To unload the instrument and return to the Rhapsody catalog, we can just click this button up here and click yes to confirm. Let's take a look at the interface. At the top, we have the main toolbar. Clicking the sync button tells Rhapsody to check the server for new updates. And you'll want to click this if you've just bought a new instrument so that it shows up in Rhapsody. The add product button can be used to add an instrument to Rhapsody. We can manually install an instrument from files that we've already got on our system, or we can add a license key to our account. I have separate videos showing in detail how to use both of these options. I'll leave links for them below this video, or you can click on the eye icon in the top right of the screen to view them. Clicking the favorites button filters the displayed instruments to just those that we've added to our favorites list. As you can see, we don't have any favorites yet. So to add a favorite, we click on the three dots after the instrument's name. And from the drop down menu, select add to favorites. So we'll add Dulcius and Modern Bauron and Osiris. Now, when we click the favorites button, we can see the instruments we've added to the favorites list. We can use the same process to remove an instrument from the list. So again, we click the three dots, and this time we select remove favorite. And you can do that from here as well. The logout button allows us to log out of our account within Rhapsody and goes back to the login screen, which we've already seen. We can use the search bar to search for a particular instrument. For example, if I type flute, we see just Emerald Flute and the Shepherd's Flute. So that covers the main controls. We also have a few more options in the instrument menu. The Locate Samples option will show us where Rhapsody is currently looking for the samples for that instrument. We can click the Folder button to browse for a different location. And you'll want to do this if you've moved the samples from where they were originally installed. If you ever open an instrument and you don't hear any sound and the RAM usage is zero, it probably means that the samples are not where Rhapsody expects them to be, so you'll want to come in here and relocate them. The final option in this list is to uninstall the instrument. I have a separate video showing this in detail, and of course I'll leave a link to that below this video. So let's end by installing an instrument. We'll install Bell and Bone. This is a free instrument that you'll have available when you first log in to Rhapsody. We'll click the green button to start the process. Next, we need to choose a location to install the samples. I'm just going to put them on my desktop and then I'll click install. And now Rhapsody will download and install the instrument. We'll see the progress there. And here's the folder with the samples. I've just dragged that across from my other screen. 
and we can have a look inside there. The content, so that's the samples for this library. So that's it, Bell and Bone is installed. We can click on it to load it up. And there we go. If you'd like to see detailed walkthrough videos of each instrument, you can find those within the product pages of the LibraWave website. So that's Rhapsody. You can go grab it now from LibraWave.com forward slash Rhapsody. There's also a link in the description below this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.